So in uh, the previous stage, which is the Z scheme, we got ATP and reduced NADP as the products, and they go into this bit here. Um, if you think about the reaction of photosynthesis, the equation, uh, we need water and carbon dioxide. Uh, water was previously broken down in the Z scheme, and now carbon dioxide comes in into this stage. Now carbon dioxide here will combine with a, a chemical called the ribulose bisphosphate and we can call it R-U-B-P as the short form. And ribulose bisphosphate has five carbon in it. And carbon dioxide, as you will know, only has one carbon with it. So when they combine together, they make a six carbon molecule called uh, glycerate-3 phosphate. Uh, we can also call it GP, uh, just to make it short. Now this reaction here is catalyzed by an enzyme called Rubisco, and the full name for it is Rubulose bisphosphate carboxylase. Um, it is uh, one of the most abundant enzymes in plants, uh, however, it is also very inefficient because it actually can be uh, competitively inhibited by oxygen at the same time. However, uh, this is key in this carbon fixation reaction. Then after that, glycerate phosphate can then uh, be converted into triose phosphate, which is another six carbon molecule. And we can simplify it to call it as TP. And then finally, it will get, get converted back into uh, RUBP. Now, as you can see here, it is still a six carbon molecule. However, uh, the structure has been changed slightly. The reason for that is so that they can actually make, want to make different things. Now, how does it actually change the structure then? Um, this relies on the two products that we talked about previously uh, in the previous stage. So here ATP comes in and it gets converted into uh, ADP, MPI. And this one, uh, the reason for that is to provide the energy for molecular rearrangement. So reduce NADP uh, is here to uh, reduce GP to TP. So it donates one of its uh, protons to it to actually change the structure. And then finally, when triose phosphate goes back to ribulose bisphosphate, uh, ATP is also required to provide energy to change its molecular structure. And this bit is the Kelvin cycle. So in, first of all, here we got fixation, which is our first reaction here. And then we get reduction because of the reduced NADP. And then finally here, we got regeneration of uh, RUBP. And those are the three stages uh, of the Kelvin cycle. Now, obviously, it doesn't actually, if we just look at this, it doesn't actually tell us how we can get glucose or any other sort of uh, uh, biological molecules that the plants need to make up its structure or uh, allow it to function. So now we actually look at to see how these two things here can then go out to develop into different um, biological molecules. So for GP, what it can do, first of all, is to uh, make amino acids. And this requires uh, nitrogen from the soil as well. And that's why when we plant things, we need to make sure they have fertilizers in it. And of course, as we know, amino acids can then go on to be made into proteins, uh, which will form the basic structure uh, of the plants or even to make uh, different sorts of enzymes. GP can also be to, uh, converted into fatty acids. And fatty acids is one of the components to make lipids. And the other component, which is glycerol, comes from triose phosphate. So the glycerol made from TP and the fatty acids made from GP can combine together to make lipids. For example, uh, triglyceride or phospholipids. And as you remember, uh, lipids like phospholipids are used to make the cell membrane or any sort of membrane. So that's why this is also really, really important. Finally, the most important bit, the one that we get from photosynthesis, which is glucose, uh, can also be made from triose phosphate. Glucose formula is C6H12O6, which makes sense because triose phosphate is also a six carbon molecule, like that. And glucose can go off to make um, starch or cellulose, depending on which one you, it is needed. And cellulose is used to make the cell wall, and starch is a uh, can be made in starch granules, which are energy storage. And of course, apart from glucose, they can also uh, turn uh, triose phosphate into uh, any other hexo sugars, for example, fructose as well. And there you have it. This is the whole Kelvin cycle. Very quickly, in the beginning, we've got carbon dioxide uh, combines with uh, ribulose bisphosphate in fixation under the caption of Rubisco to make glycerate phosphate, GP. Then. ATP provides energy and reduced NADP donates as proton to reduce uh, glycerate phosphate to become triose phosphate. 
then triosphosphate is provided with energy to uh, regenerate into um, ribulose bisphosphate and which then continues on with the cycle. Most of TP goes off to do regeneration. It's only once every uh, couple of cycles that they go off to make these uh, different products. Uh, glycerate phosphate can uh, be added with nitrogen from the soil to make amino acids to make proteins. It can also be converted into fatty acids combined with glycerol from TP to make lipids, things like triglyceride and phospholipids. Uh, TP can also be converted into hexose sugars, for example glucose, to make starch or cellulose.